you could say after my my mom and dad separated, my mom and dad never got divorced, but they were separated for eighteen years before they moved back, live, live, start living back with each other. They was they was basically separated from the time I started kindergarten to the time I graduated college. Ain't that some shit? Eighteen years. That was eighteen years from the time I started kindergarten to the time I ended up in college. So, um, finished college. So I mean, I had I had my dad in my life. I always had him in my life, but that every day, that every day, every day, you know, it's different. So you know, I was ready. I was in a house, you no, know, full of women. I was in a house with my uh, my cousin, my my sister, my mom, and my grandmother. And um, they they believed in men. They believed in men, folk. They didn't. They believe they didn't believe in feminizing no no boy at all. You know when they feel like a boy should be going doing, they push me to go do it. But in dealing with women, you could kind of say you could you could you could have an argument that I was raised to be a simp, but I wasn't. I was never raised to be stupid, and by no means, by no means at all. Women know what the hell be going on. So I I got all that game, in uh, in abundance, from how women look at men, not how I shouldn't necessarily quote unquote look at women, but I got that too. But I was raised to be a gentleman. I was raised to be chivalrous, if that makes any sense. You know, I can only describe myself as being a nice and sweet person when I was in in time before before I got to college. In time before I got to college, I I, I could describe myself. Oh, I I was nice. I was. I was sweet. What like that? That's the only time I can ever describe myself to be that naive, or whatever you want to call it. But I was raised to be shivers. I was raised to know how to treat a woman, to know how to make a woman feel like a woman, make a woman feel treat, know how to treat a lady. I, I was raised to deal with ladies. I wasn't raised to deal with three or fours, hooks, and all kind of type of. Thoughts. It, I wasn't raised to deal with it. I really wasn't, cause I wasn't around it. I wasn't around those thoughts. I wasn't around whole ish behavior. I really wasn't at all. I wasn't exposed to it. What I was exposed to was what a woman lady was supposed to do and what a man was supposed to do. That's what I was. I, I was. I was. I was raised around everybody. I was raised around was married. Like all my my mother, my aunts, cousins, whoever they married. No, I was just around people that was married. My the friends, my mother, and my father had they were married. My mother and father did not hang out with single people. You know what I mean? They they hung out with people that were married, and they hung out. They might have hung out with the husbands. I know my dad might have hung out with a husband like that. Cause my dad was always in all the different social clubs that he had, and, and, and the Masons and all that shit. But they hung out with married people. You know what I mean? So I was always exposed to that type of lifestyle all through, I mean, from the time I was born till I graduated college. You know what I mean? That's, I mean, even beyond that, but that was my whole foundation. Like, I, I understand marriage, you know what I'm saying? But I was raised to be a gentleman, shivers. That shit worked up until I got to college. And when I got to college, within the first two weeks, I would say, I was like, oh, 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 oh no! I, I'm not prepared. I am not prepared. I was not prepared. I was not prepared. I'm gonna say it again. I was not prepared <laughs> to deal with women in college. I was not like I had. I, I, I was going. I walked in with that little old sweet nice shit, and that shit got obliterated. He got just smoked up in the dish, man. Like in a month, it was gone, and I had to create another me. I had, bruh, you meet some beautiful women like that. They had your mind blow, bruh. But then you realize they got somebody else's mind blow. Then you realize they got not just that person, but other motherfuckers' mind blow. And then you sit back like, look, every man has fell in love with a three or four. Every man has fell in love with what y'all call today a thought. You know what I'm saying? Every man has fell in love with the wrong type of woman. You know what I'm saying? He he has. Because she would do some shit to him that ain't no other woman ever did. 
and it's gonna blow his mind. It just is. It just it's just one of them things, man. It's just it's one of them things, and you get caught up. You get caught up. You do. You know what I mean? And this sweet shit, this this Mr. Nice Guy shit, is not gonna survive. If you are in your, if you, man, if you from I'm a, from sixteen to thirty. I ain't even gonna cut off because you gotta go through all through your twenties, and I mean that I'm from from sixteen that's ain't, that's fifteen years from sixteen to thirty, you need to stop being nice. I'm you know I mean be very respectable to women, but don't be nice, don't be damn sweet. It ain't gonna get you nowhere with them. I do not know why. That's just how it is. You know what I mean? Back in the day, the females, they wanted the drug dealers. They wanted, they wanted whoever had the car. You know, whoever the car, whoever can get them out of the house because they're bored. You got to understand, young girls are bored. And they be bored for a long time. Because, you know what I'm saying? Because they be interested in people that are interesting. They might not have a lot of things themselves that they put into their life. Like, what, women don't be, be doing a whole lot of hobbies. I mean, you got, you know, when they get old, they might be, they might have a garden. But I'm talking about other than that, they, they be on the go. They need to go. They need to go. They need to go. They need to be placed. They need, they need to be seen. You understand? It's a different kind of energy. They ain't, they ain't for that. I'm about to sit down in this house with you. Shit. Trust me. They don't like that shit. They don't want to be in no house with you. They want to be seen. They want to go out to eat. They want to go to the movies. They want to go this. They want to go whatever. 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 Never, never, ever. And ever. But nonetheless, that little sweet, nice guy shit, it ain't going to work. You have to create another personality. And a lot of times when I was younger, when I didn't know how to deal with certain shit, because it wasn't my personality to be different than what I was, you understand what I'm saying? Because you are who you are. But at the same time, you, you may have to be more or something else than what you are. Or you're not going to survive. It's, that's what men do. We adapt. We adjust to whatever it is, whatever our environment p- p- makes us have to adapt to. We will adjust to it. So I adjusted to my environment. And I created the coldest motherfucker on the planet. Because I realized, my mother told me one time, she's like, you know, you you, you know, you wear your heart on your sleeve. You know, you let you let it all hang out there. Because I give a fuck. I'm, I'm, I be serious. I don't be, I don't be playing when I'm playing. You know I'm playing. But when I'm serious, you gonna know I'm damn serious. But when you are dealing with younger women, they gonna play forever, bro. Like... They're going to play through their 20s. They're going to play through their 30s. It, it's going to be, you're going to see some amazing things. And that's because you're dealing with some a female that's half cute or cute, but she knows she cute. You know what I mean? She know what these, what these, what these, folk, what, what these men out here like. And they, they in the face. She, and she know a thousand of them. You know what I mean? It's like she got options, bruh. You know what I mean? You ain't on an option, bruh. So, I mean, you have to be very interested just to even hold her attention for whatever span of time it is. It's, it's just like, like TikTok with like, or these reels or whatever shorts. It, that's the type of, that's, that's, you got like a 15 second window to obtain the attention. And that's too damn long. They're going to be about to walk off after that if you ain't got them in the first damn five, five seconds. It's like being a comedian. A comedian got to make somebody laugh between every, every 10 to 15 to 30 seconds. You have to be entertaining. It's, it's, it's a hat you got to put on, but, but, this sweet, nice guy shit, bro, I, I had to create a completely different personality. I had to be liquid nitrogen. I had to be a person that had no feelings. I had no heart. You know what I mean? I, I get a ta- I got to put a tattoo on, on my damn, on my arm of a heart, because I'm like, I'm taking this shit the fuck out of my damn chest. And, like, now meet the coldest motherfucker you've ever seen.